us as a foundation, the next generation of artists are so important um, to the extent that it's the pipeline for um, Australia's next big and great artists. But also it's a very insecure pathway and there's a lot of hurdles and I think especially for dance, if you're a young choreographer, the cost and difficulty in getting dancers to work on is great. So for us to be able to give young choreographers a crack and perform their work on those dancers is a great way how we can help the next generation of artists get better and be the next great artists in Australia. When Raf called and was like, are you interested? I was like, actually, yeah, I am. That would be really great. And to expand my my skills, my knowledge, my um, my practice, I suppose, in how I make work. But I just think what was really nice and what I remember um, about that is that the Sydney Dance Company dancers being so incredibly generous with their time and open and welcoming of the ideas because, you know, for them too, the growth for them as artists as well, being exposed to external choreographers, being exposed to external practices and ideologies and ideas and other artists as well, you know, not just choreographers, but like designers and sound and all of that. Like, I think that that's an incredible investment in, a, in, a, in an artist who works in a full-time capacity. I made rain in 2015 on all the women who were at Sydney Dance Company at the time. Um, before that, I'd made three works at Bangara Dance Theatre. I'd made Riley in 2010, and I'd made a work called Scar, which was a male work, all men's work, that was a part of a kind of a triple bill called Black in 2013. And so up to that point, maybe in terms of, I guess, scale, it probably would have been the third work in that kind of lineage of working with companies. Definitely around that kind of 2015, 2016 mark, I did have this kind of instinct. It was like, oh, you know what? I think I could lead an organization. Like I'm, I have the ideas. I just, I couldn't really put my finger on why, but I just felt like I could do it. And one thing that I've been very, I suppose, really grateful for, um, and, and you know, in Sydney Dance Company in Rain was the first step into that, was as a cultural First Nations artist, getting to work in what is seen as the non-First Nations arts being able to step into these spaces and go okay i have to hold some of that kind of sacred too because it depends on the space and it depends on the organization whether or not are they able to culturally safely hold that information i just remember loving being in the room and being so inspired by the incredible women they were so generous with their time with their questioning with their expanding of a smallest little idea, you know, and, and they were just really wonderful. And I worked with Alisa Gelbart as well on costumes and uh, another friend of mine, Nick Thayer. And I remember him making this epic dubstep electronic score, which was big and bold. And I was like, it's exactly what it needs to be. And yeah, no, I just remember the generosity and the care um, of those women and, and, and how they just kind of held, it was like, yes, Dan. They just kind of kept saying yes, 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 and that kind of emboldened me to keep pushing and pushing. Mm -hmm.